So this video, I'd like to take a few minutes to focus in on our top selling product. You may have already listened to a few of my videos, and if you have, then you know that our EnviroCloth is our number one seller, that it's a microfiber woven one two hundred the size of a human hair, unlike a standard microfiber that's woven one sixth. You may also know that a lot of our cloths have a micro silver technology embedded in them that allows for the cloths to break down bacteria left in remaining inside the cloth. But what I haven't focused a lot on and what I want you to understand is that our cloths do not cross-contaminate. What does that mean exactly? Well, it means I could clean the countertop, I could then wipe something up off the floor, and then I could wipe my hands. And all of the bacteria that I've picked up from all of those surfaces traps inside the cloth and doesn't transfer to other surfaces. But don't just take my word for it. I want to do a test to show and prove to you the accuracy of that statement. I have a piece of raw chicken and just a standard floor tile. And I'm going to rub that raw chicken on this tile. And then I've got protein testers that will show that there is, in fact, protein on the cloth. Now, we don't have testers that test for bacteria, but protein is a, a smaller element than, uh, than bacteria. So where there is protein, there is also bacteria. These are the, the standard tests that you might see a health inspector use at a restaurant. So I'm gonna test this surface just to in fact, yes, show you that there is protein on this surface from the raw chicken. And I'll, squeeze this solution down in, what you are going to quickly see is that this solution is going to begin to turn colors. So if you can tell, typically if it's a clean surface, it will remain green. And then as it becomes more and more contaminated, it goes from gray to pink to purple. And I believe you can probably see that this is already turning a very deep shade of purple. But we'll leave this here, and as we continue with this test, this will continue to get more purple. The next thing I want to do, and this is an iron viral cloth, only wet with water, I'm going to wipe down the surface of this tile. The way we recommend that you clean these types of surfaces, especially if you're using uh, cleaning up raw, raw meat, meats, is to fold the cloth four ways. It, in essence, gives you eight clean surfaces. You'll go and go ahead and wipe this surface down. And then for the measure, I just like to do it a second time. So I'll flip the cloth over and wipe with this side of the surface as well. And now what I'd like to do is go back and test this surface. But what I want to show you is that I'm not just going to test the spaces where the chicken was actually touching. But I'm going to test the entire surface. Getting in particularly where I set the chicken, but all across the entire tile. Really good here. We'll go ahead and stick our tester in the tube and squeeze the solution. And you can see how bright green it is. We'll do a quick cross comparison. That's just cleaning the surface with water. Quite amazing the difference, right? Raw chicken and then our tile surface just using our Enviro cloth with water. But I'm going to take it one step further just so that you know that I'm, I'm not making this up. This isn't a fake test. I want to test my cloth because I told you it doesn't cross contaminate. And if that's the case, then I should be able to take this very same test that's still green, meaning no contaminants, no protein on the surface, and I'm going to test the actual cloth. So I'm just rubbing my test strip across the cloth, and for good measure, I'll flip it over and I'll do the other side. We'll stick that down in the solution. We'll mix it up. You can see it's still the bright green. All of the chicken that I just cleaned up 
is still trapped inside of this cloth. So what do you do now that you have a cloth with chicken contaminants inside of it? Well, I wet the cloth earlier with cold water and what that does is it helps constrict all of those fibers. When you clean your cloth, and I do recommend that you clean your cloths after each um, instance where you clean up anything, you clean it with hot water. And when you clean that surface, or when you wash the cloth with hot water, it allows all of those fibers to expand and everything that's left remaining in the cloth to flow out. However, if there's anything else remaining in the cloth, that's when you set the cloth out flat to dry and over the course of 24 hours, that silver, micro silver will break down the remaining bacteria. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this short video and to see these amazing test results. I hope you will find that Norwex is just as amazing as I have. Thanks and have a great day.